Hey everyone, it's Stephanie here, and today I have a card to share that features some fun products from My Favorite Things. I'm going to be using this Great Coffee Cup Dynamics. I've had this on my desk for, feels like forever, waiting to use it, and I'm finally going to put it to use on this card here. And I'm going to be pairing it up with the Perk Up Stamp Set and the Christmas Cuteness Stamp Set, um, one for the sentiment and one for the little snowman image. So to start my card, I'm going to first assemble the cup. So my favorite things has some really great dies that when you assemble them, they look really realistic. And they're one of my favorite types of dies to create with. So I couldn't wait to get this one out and go ahead and create a holiday themed coffee cup. So I cut everything out of smooth white cardstock, but I'm only going to be using the white for the base of the cup as well as the lid. To do the little sleeve that slides onto the cup, I'm going to cut that out a second time in craft cardstock, just so it looks kind of realistic since that's usually the color that most of them are. And then I'm going to go ahead and figure out where I'm going to put this little snowman image. I'm going to stamp him directly on the craft piece only because I need to stamp his arms on there and because I know I'm going to fussy cut him out because I want to have the cut line right against the stamped image. So be, trying to cut out those arms would be impossible. So I just decided to go ahead and stamp him directly onto the craft piece first and then I'm going to stamp him onto a piece of smooth white cardstock as well. And the smooth white cardstock piece that I'm going to stamp him on is going to be the main body portion that you're going to see when the card's finished. This stamping that I'm doing here is, like I said, just simply so that he has arms when I've finished assembling him. So now I have him on there, I'm going to re-stamp the same image onto this little scrap piece of white cardstock. And I'm using My Favorite Things Black Licorice Hybrid Ink. And I'm using this just because I'm going to be using some Copic markers to accent and color in the snowman. And this ink is perfect for that since it doesn't bleed at all. So now I just kind of zoomed in here a bit so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just adding some gray to the edges of the snowman. I'm using C2 here and just kind of doing a very thin line around the, the um, left side of him. And then I'm going to use my C00 and kind of pull that color out into his body area. The C00 has barely any color at all to it, so I like to use that one to kind of smooth it out and blend it into the center area of the snowman. Just adds a little bit of shadow and highlight to kind of enhance the white look to him, even though it is a gray color. And then to finish him off, I'm going to go ahead and do the hat area. So I just, I colored the holly with a green Copic marker and then the little berry with red. And I'm using some warm grays here to go ahead and color his hat in. And I'm kind of focusing the darker color onto the outside edges of the hat just to kind of give it a highlight in the center area. I like to use the grays when trying to achieve a black look just because it, it looks more realistic and doesn't look so flat when you do a little bit of shading with the gray colors. And then I also colored in his little nose with an orange Copic marker and his little buttons with the darkest gray color. Now I'm coloring one of the heart images that come with the Coffee Cup Dynamics. This is the smaller heart. And I'm just adding some red Copic marker onto that, two colors, just with a tiny bit of shading. And I'm going to be adding this to the snowman once I have him adhered onto the card. So like I said previously, I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut him out. There is a die that coordinates with him, but because I wanted to go right against the ink line, I just decided to use my scissors. And since he's a snowman, it's pretty basic and simple cutting, so it didn't take long at all to just cut him out and uh, go ahead and add this black colored marker to the edges of him. And this is just going to allow um, all that white core color that you see from the cardstock, this is going to cover that up and just make it look like it's completely inked around the edges and just gives him a completely finished look. So I like to do that with my stamped images when I cut them directly against the ink line. So now to dress up the cup a little bit because it is pretty stark white and I wanted to give it a little bit of detail um, rather than just have the plain white. I used a gray Copic marker and added some highlights to the edge of the cup and then I also stamped on some snowflakes with snow cone dye ink. Um, and the snowflake image is from the same Christmas cuteness stamp set that the snowman is from. And then I went ahead and adhered the snowman directly onto the cup. And now I'm going to adhere this little heart onto the center area of the snowman. And I just decided to use this because I thought it went really good with the sentiment that I'm going to be using, which is You Warm My Heart. I thought it was a cute sentiment for the gift card that I'll be putting into this card, which is for um, a popular coffee place here called Tim Hortons. And it also played on the You Warm My Heart, so I thought having a heart on the snowman was just kind of cute and went really well with that sentiment. 
So now I'm adding some glitter to the snowman's hat and the holly, as well as the heart on the center area of the snowman. And then I'm going to go ahead and assemble my actual card base here. So I'm just using snow cone cardstock, and I'm creating a standard size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I have a couple of cardstock pieces that I've cut out with the Blueprints 20 Dynamics, as well as the Rectangle Stitched dynamic stacks and these just layer perfectly on top of one another and you get that great stitching detail around the edges of both of those two pieces which I think just adds to the card and just gives it some extra detail so it's not so flat looking. Before I went ahead and adhered those on I wanted to put some of the snowflakes onto the outside area of the card base which is the same snowflake I used on the cup. I just wanted to give a little bit more detail to the plain card stock in the background area. Even though you don't see a huge amount of it, it still adds just enough so that it just kind of gives it a little bit more um, character and kind of goes and blends it well with the cup image that's uh, the focal point of the card. So now I'm just going ahead and stamping on the sentiment. I'm using the You Are My Heart, and I've cut this sentiment apart. Um, I've used it on a couple different cards, and I think at this point now, every word is its own stamp, which is no problem at all. If I want to reuse it how it was intended, I can put them back together. But having them all cut apart lets me maneuver and manipulate the sentiment however I want and however it fits perfectly onto a card. So now that I have the sentiment on there, I went ahead and adhered all the pieces of cardstock, and I'm going to add the cup that I've cut out here. So I'm going to use some foam adhesive to add the cup to it, and I'm just kind of putting two strips on, and this is going to give the perfect amount of adhesive, or dimension, I'm sorry, just to kind of lift this off of the card so that it's not so flat, but not have it too far off the card where it's kind of difficult to mail. I find that this foam adhesive is the perfect um, height for using on cards and still being able to mail them without a problem. So now I have that adhered onto the card. I'm going to go ahead and add some sequins, and I like to use these little medicine cups that come with medications for children. If you have kids, you, I'm sure you have a million of these around the house. I kind of keep a few of them around on my desk to hold little um, things like this, which is pre-made sequins that I've used the My Favorite Thing sequins die and vellum and went ahead and cut a bunch of those out and I kind of keep them on my desk and then I can add them to cards as I want. So I went ahead and adhered I think three of those onto the card front with some silver stickles and then I added some glossy accents to the snowman's heart and the holly piece on the snowman's hat. And now the card is ready to tuck a gift card on the inside. So that completes the cards. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.